to see a world where there is peace and justice exist together and I wish to be a tool in bringing this peace and justice in a small way. That's my dream. I am uh, uh, basically from Madras. Okay. I studied in Madras and I was born and uh, brought up in a Christian family where uh, uh, even in my childhood I committed myself to be a full-time full minister of a church. Okay. My father was also a pastor in Madras. This was yeah. built in 1846 46. but established well uh, before, even 1800. I think I am the youngest when I was selected and still I am the youngest pastor of this church because this is a very uh, traditional church where uh, uh, youngest people, young people are not so much mm. encouraged or allowed. But these people have believed that I can do something. So for the past three years I am here. Mm. Then I studied in Madras, uh, uh, sorry, in Bangalore, mm. where uh, we call it as theological study. Okay. And after that I worked in few places, you know, World Vision, MS Bible School, mm. FMBP. There are a lot of other organizations where I got associated with. Mm. But now I am uh, uh, about six years I am associated with this church. Mm. And uh, last three years I am the in charge. It is called as Presbyter in charge. Mm -hmm. So I am the chairman and the presbyter of this. Mm. My vision is this church should be very much involved in the community. Mm. Not just the uh, social uh, uh, service they should move into social action. That's what I'm trying to do, which we are taught very much. Social uh, service is something that uh, most of the churches or uh, religious groups will do. See, when uh, Christmas comes or Pongal comes, Deepali comes, they'll take food packets and go to the different places and give it to people. Social action is the church will stand for the justice and right of the people. You know, something goes wrong. So this church has come forward to support various institutions. So every month we give money for them, supply uh, provisions for them, mm -hmm. hostels, orphanages, okay. leprosy villages, uh, physically challenged, physically and mentally challenged people. So mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, uh, to the large extent, you know, about uh, 10 to 15 organizations we support. Okay. I want my son to do well in studies and uh, my dream, mm -hmm. of course he's, he's, that's not his dream that he would become a collector. So that so I always thought it is easy to get through things, mm. easy to you know, get into this kind of profession so easily. But when I went for it, I was insulted because insulted and put into a lot of troubles because I am so young. As our honorable president, he always says you know, that the young people, uh, youngsters are not uh, tomorrow's uh, leaders. They are leaders of today. Yes. So that was working. Those days, you know, youngsters are not looked upon, you know, people who take up responsibility. So I was very, very disappointed when I got through the entrance exam and when I came, they said, you are young, get out. You have to come again. So two times I appeared and then they said, still you have to wait for four years. I said, no, I should prove myself that I should come, you know, when I'm young and do true things. So I went in my very early age, 21, I went for my studies. Actually, 25 only, you are allowed to go for okay. this training. I went in 21, I finished, I came back, and I proved myself, I got into this church. <laughs>